Dragon and Lithum Susan Mosler. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, we have somebody. Have you looked at the previous minutes? Mm -hmm. I, there, I don't have any right. addendums or anything like that. Okay. So make a motion. I would like to make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. Minutes accepted. Uh, let's let skip around and have Ben give his report, our health agent, so that he can yep. go home. Yeah. Everybody's okay today. He's been slippery. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah. So since last I was here, uh, some of this stuff I've already let people know, but it'll make it official. Uh, so I got my uh, Title V certification, um, and so uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, so I'll be working with uh, Kevin over the next few uh you know, month, month and a half, maybe two months, something like that, to try to just get an update on what specificities there are in Hadley and things I should know, that type of thing. Um, so I'll be working closely with him, hopefully, over the next uh, little bit. Uh, and um, I'll hopefully be able to bring those uh, skills to uh, to Hadley. Yeah, that's great. And you'll let us know when you're ready to, when you feel comfortable. Sounds great. Thank you. Terrific. Um, the next thing I wanted to just put on the board's um in in your minds is uh, I would like to get a, a pool certification. I know that we have pools uh, here. Mm -hmm. uh, in the spring, they're gonna you know get up and running, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have that certification. I'd like to get it, um, and uh, so sometime over the winter, something like that, or early spring. Go for it. Um, as long as the course is offered, I'll right. look it up. As long as the board is is right. willing to to work yeah. with me if I find it. Yes. So we we do have we do have I think four four swimming pools in the hotels. The, yeah, so there's I think there's four all year indoor, and then there's one mm -hmm. seasonal, which is um, is that the Knights Inn right here? Oh yeah, they have a yeah, right. there there are one you're seasonal. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they just so, so we used to right. say nine a year yeah, to meet well, the two Q six months and then the one seasonal. So what have we done in the past uh, as far as the pools are concerned? So the last, the last inspector that we had, uh, she inspected she inspected all the pools, I'm going to say in the spring. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same thing I'd like yeah, to do. Then, okay. And again, she was, again, she left shortly thereafter. Okay. So they are probably due soon, I would say. Okay. Great. All right. So, so I'll, I'll put that on my list of things to do. Um, so, uh, as we discussed previously, uh, the ticket situation, um, the, uh, uh, the, the I, I spoke to Carolyn. She's on board with it. A um, hundred dollar ticket per violation is what I would be looking for. The violation would not be for the initial violation. It would be <clears throat> if I go back for a reinspection. And the violation is not corrected, and there does not appear to have been any attempt to correct. Then it would be uh, a possible one hundred dollars per violation. Um, uh, and and it, it, people seem to be um, think that's reasonable. Um, <clears throat> I spoke to. Uh, I was directed in the. I was. I was told to talk to the treasurer about it. They would have to be the ones that collect mm -hmm. or or you know follow up on on that. Um, and she said it was fine, but she said that the, if we were to vote to approve that type of thing, we should also bring it before the select board because it's a fee or a fine, and they should be aware and, okay. and have, have their piece on it too. So if we approve it, then we should bring it to that. I will do that. So we'll, so that's a, a, a new thing that we should just be aware of. Um, <clears throat> the collector currently doesn't collect for tickets in the right. for the town. However, I did speak to the treasurer and she said she's wanted to have them have that responsibility previously. Um, so, you know, may, if not right away, I'll, I'll talk to the collector and, and see if they're if they're willing to do that. Because otherwise, if we put out tickets who, right now, whoever put out tickets, like, puts out tickets, for example, the uh, police department parking tickets, 
they actually follow up on their own parking tickets versus usually they, it would be handed to the collector and the collector would be the one that would follow up on tickets. That sounds like the way to go. Right. And so that's what I think we should do is have the collector do it because otherwise Peter's making calls about so tickets. So what, what do you need to do to make that happen? Yeah, I know Peter doesn't want to do it. Uh, uh, what I would do is I'd have to first talk to the collector and say, hey, listen, we just don't have the hours for it. I know you don't do it for the department. You really should do it. And uh, if, as long as she's willing to do it, I might turn them to first to see if she's on board. Yeah, see if you can get that to happen. So I'll, I'll do that. And so long as, so basically, Treasurer knows she would, she already knows how she could make it happen. She's good with it. Uh, I would talk to the, to the, um, uh, the collector and you would talk to the, the uh, select board. Yes, the select board. And if, as if we got their buy in, then we all I would need to do is write it up and then. So let me go. just be clear. So you go do the inspection and there's some issues. Yeah. You tell them what needs to be fixed. And when you go back, if it hasn't been fixed, then there's a hundred dollar bond. Possible hundred dollars. Possible. And that would occur each time you went back subsequently. Correct. For each violation. Right. Now, you know, it doesn't, I, you know, I, I, I don't tend to, you know, if, if it seems like they're trying to do the correct and the correct them and they just haven't reached the standard right. i wouldn't find them for that you know i i would i would go back and and do it again and let them be more clear maybe but uh if it just seems like they're blowing us off so be at the discretion of the health and correct health. that's right okay. and are you, when you say each violation do you mean if there are eight violations and you go back and they've done nothing none of these eight yeah there could be an eight hundred dollar fine one could if Good. you if you block that way. And I'm I'm not sure. Um the maximum penalty of three hundred dollars is established and forty twenty one D for non violations. So, so I'm not sure. There we have more to look into. You could put a cap on it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I thought it was five hundred, but if it's three hundred, whatever it is, you can yeah, look well, at whatever that is and then put a yeah. cap on it. Um uh if we need to. But uh I would say I think a hundred and is enough to be an incentive, but not so much that it would be overburdening on yep. a business if they're not, you know. I haven't so, thought about all so this So one, one of the questions that the select board will ask, or could potentially ask, yep. is how often do you project this to happen? Yep. So so how how bad do you think it really is? Because yep. I, I know that somebody on the board is going to ask that question sure. or could ask that question. So. Again, I, I know there's not a right wrong yeah. answer, but they're probably going to be looking for like, you know, gee, there could be five in a year or yeah. ten okay. in a year. Well, I would say well, my, my honest answer right now would be I wouldn't have issued any tickets yet. And the reason why would be, for example, I was concerned with stables. But they actually did get into compliance. I went back the next time and they had gotten into compliance. And so it's not a necessarily necessarily that they have a bad first inspection and I immediately start hitting them. Right. It's more... If you don't care and you're not trying, then then we're going to have to put some fines. And so far, no one I have inspected has taken the tack that they're just not going to do right. it. Okay. So that's great. But eventually, I will run into somebody, but but it's not common but in Hadley so yep. far, right? So that's what I would say. But uh, to to um, uh, to the board's point, you know, it would be a situation where you know it, we can put a cap on it. So that's and say you could say, oh well, we're not going to go past this number. You want to put a cap at three hundred dollars? Yeah, it, it, I'll look in the code and just see what there is a limit on it, whatever that is. I'll look the code. Um, uh, 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 we'll back. So may I ask, uh, and maybe this is not time to discuss it, but have you been able to look into some of the more egregious um, uh, establishments that have just? You know, not been following through, and and what has that been like? Okay, so uh, I did an inspection. I'm actually not done with at uh, Maple Farms, and the reason why I'm done with it is it's very large. I didn't have not enough time. Had other things scheduled that day, and I had to leave. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> so I have to go back there. Um, and the reason why it as a problem, in my opinion, um, is just the fact. That you know they 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 might not know we're supposed to be doing like they should, but also because they kind of have built things out without a thorough review process. So you know they just did what they wanted to do. They added things as they wanted to add them, and the flow doesn't make sense. The, the 
Uh, I'll give you just an example real quick. The walls, you know, when a wall hits a floor, a food handling area, there should, it should be code like this. And the reason why is you need to be able to mop floor and not, not have like, uh, or 90 angles where yeah, food can get stuck in there, right? Um, and that's it, code. And they do have uh, meat, uh, uh, you know, like they um, grind the, uh, their beef and so, so on and so forth. Uh, and that is a area that's scary. It has to be very clean. And that's not, not just as it, it's not code, it like the wall is not, doesn't meet the floor. It's not flush with it. So, you know, how do I fix that? Well, you know, that real struggle uh, because, you know, he's going to have to do some work to either make the wall touch the floor. It's, it's expensive. Um, I just want an example, you know, like they, if somebody had, when he built that out, gone through and made sure it was right, then when I go through for an inspection later on, if it's not right, it's easy for him to fix because it was already built out the way it was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and that's just not the, the way uh, uh, there that, you know, there's some challenges. Um, and, and again, I just want to bring this up because it has been an ongoing issue with them. I know in their freezer they had wooden floors mm -hmm. and they had been repeatedly told that that was in violation is that something that's a problem i didn't get to the freezers yeah, okay, just curious. yeah 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 i mean there were other things the other thing is it was originally a warehouse i believe and there's open areas so there's there, the walls aren't where they kind of so it's hard for me to to say okay this is your food handling area. This is your storage area. Usually I have rooms that I can, I know, okay, I can classify this as that, and that is that, and I don't. It's just like an open space in a lot of ways, and it makes it hard to know what to require. So it's just things like that. You know, I think we're in built in a difficult way. Let's put it like that way. So it's going to take a while to get everything right. updated. Let's sit on that, though, as he's willing to do that. Yeah, so we'll make things. Should we vote on this? The fine for repeat violations. I think we need to get the official MGL with us. We need yeah. to get the official MGL the guidance to be in alignment with the so, violation. So let's do that, and then uh, you'll yeah, I'll you look into it some more. I have to write it out. And then we'll. we'll and are you willing to work with me on that? Okay. <laughs> cool. 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 All right. Uh. I. One thing uh, is uh, uh, Jennifer asked me to remind you about the plastic bag ordinance thing. Yeah, it's part of our agenda. You're, you're doing it. Right. Yeah. Um, according to task force, I brought it up before. Emma, we spoke about it today. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, and um, so, you know, we're going to, I've spoken to fire and everything. Everybody wants to pick it up again in the beginning of January because so many people are on vacation and everything, right? A lot of people trying to figure things out. Reporting task force is just going to be um, how do we report problems? Uh, so, you know, who's responsible for what? What's the SOP? You know, if I go in there and I see X, Y, and Z, is this fallen building? Is building going to follow up with that or is health going to follow up with that? Or is that fire? You know, uh, it might land on multiple, you know, uh, uh, right. codes, but who's going to take lead on such and such, such and such? Really important. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also, who's going to in, in, uh, interact with Council on Aging and what do we expect from them? You know, uh, they want to actually know what is expected of them too, because sometimes they'll think, are you doing that or am I doing that? Right. right? Um, so we just need to get an idea of what, what all that is. And so we're going to pick up on that in, in January because it's so hard right now. If somebody's available, yeah. other, another person's available. Right? Right. Exactly. So that's just an update as far as that. Sure. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, electronic inspections, uh, a permit link. I spoke with Scott. And um, he has the programmers uh, working to try to get me a rough draft you know it should be ready but i'll try it type of thing um in early january so that's that's his his goal on that uh he hasn't cleared that that's his deadline so i will follow up with him you know right. after the first basically after the, yeah. after the new year new year we yeah. all right just keep the things get bombed down okay. and then the last thing i have is uh applications and addendums so what i'm uh i have some great um, like, you know, when somebody applies for a food license, for example, 
what do they need to give us, right? And I, and there's some things that I want more. Like for example, I want them to know right to bat and you give me a good plan, right? So things like that, like little like check sheet or something like that. A little, it's like a little booklet. We can, you know. um, I think we have that. On the I permits that I made, something that we would have on the website. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I, I'll have to look at that again. I haven't seen it, but but what I was going to ask is some stuff I had from a while ago that I'd like to to kind of show you guys and get some feedback on, and but if it if it works, together. then yeah, okay, great. okay, great. So so I'll bring some of that in. I have to like dig it up, but I'll find it. I'll, I'll, and I'll get it, um, and then I'll share it with you. So you guys are amenable to take a look at that, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's what I have for me. Do you guys have any uh, questions for me? Just to say, Ben, you're so you're doing an, a great, great job. We appreciate your initiative, your independence, yet keeping us posted, and we always feel like we're in the loop. Yeah. And just thank you. Thank, thank you. So. I, I, you know, I, I've mentioned. I think I'll, the thing I'll say before uh, my part is done is. Um, you know, I've been on the Tuesday call recently, and um, uh, you know, Mike with fire uh, building. You know, I, um, you know, everybody has, has said that they're, they're happy with having me there and working with them, and and that, yes. and I, I just uh, feel, and and you know, Carolyn had mentioned that, and of course, Susan, you always bring it out, and everybody has said they they've been happy with with um, uh, with having me. Here. I, I feel very appreciated. I, I really, uh, I, you know, not just. But beyond that, you know, the people that I'm working with are excellent too. Um, and uh, so, I, you know, and all the board members, you guys are great. So, thank you to, for, for being uh, so pleasant to work with. We are delighted to have you professional on um, yes. doing these. Mm -hmm. thank, really you. thank you guys. All right. Big ass. Truly remarkable. Go Wonderful. On. All right. Thank you. It's all right. All right. I'll try. I'll try. See you next week. All right. See, see you someday. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. your yeah. 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 holiday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. The best. Uh, so right. Update. Update permit link, Peter. So um, the, um, we worked with the vendor last week to send out our first how about email campaign to all the food establishments mm -hmm. that had email addresses. So uh, that was the. Majority of them, probably 85%, close to 90% had email addresses that I had in an old spreadsheet, cutting and pasting here and there. The remaining, whatever, 16, 18, whatever the number was that we, for whom we did have email addresses, uh, we uh, have the system spit out paper uh, letters and those into the mail. I think it was Saturday, I went to the post office. <clears throat> so everybody has their initial left saying, hey, by the way, it's time to renew your food establishment permit for 2023. Uh, the letter uh, that everybody received gives them brief instructions in terms of, okay, here's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Here's you go. Everybody has, a, has an ID or a pin that's unique to your business. You need to go in and go into the system. Don't call Peter. Go to the system and find your application using this ID. The application that they're using to renew their permit is pretty populated with the information that we have. So nobody's keying in their name, their address, the, none of that stuff. It's already in the form. So all they're doing, so all the establishments are doing, uh, number one, is with new information, mm -hmm. if there's a new owner, uh, if they're selling something different or something else is going on. Secondly, they are instructed how to make a payment for the fees electronically. So no more sending checks in the mail, so on and so forth. Um, and then the, to close the loop, what ends up happening is that when all that has taken place, when they, when the Permit applicant has completed the application uh, fully. They you know, they fill in all the blank spaces, and they have sent payment to us. Then the last step is for me to present to the three of you. Mm -hmm. You know who has applied, who's paid, 
and you guys tell me if you approve or you don't approve. Then I go into the system and tell the system, okay, these food establishments were approved. And what ends up happening is that the software then sent, sends another letter electronically to the food establishment saying, okay, you had approved, here's your permit. Right. And it instructs them to, you know, save it, print it, post it on the wall, you know, all, all that yep. stuff that they should be doing with or without the software. So um, the the marketing campaign, um, as I think I mentioned to somebody earlier this week, um, was not necessarily as smooth as glass. Uh, we've received some feedback um, from some of the establishments, um, mostly questions like, mm. what am I doing with this? Or how do I do this? Um, and we've received that feedback by way of email and a, a ton of voicemails that still need to be still need to be addressed. Um, I had a follow-up conversation with the vendor this morning on the phone, or we, or we did a Zoom, and uh, just to kind of establish, okay, so where are we? What do we need to fix? What else do we need to do? And oh, by the way, I'm going to have a lot of questions for you guys once I go through these all these emails and voicemails. Um, we need to turn this around fairly quickly. So, uh, so the vendor is at least working with us. They're attempting. Um, the, you know, for the most part, the application is fine. Initially, there were a couple of bugs that had to be fixed. Uh, so the software develop, developer had to get involved. People, a bunch of those voicemails were saying when they hit the submit, it was coming up that they had to enter like a manager name or something. Right. Right. Did that so, get fixed? Well, no, they have to enter a name. That, oh, sorry, that, what was that? They, they have to enter a name if they have a manager. So... Uh, oh, oh so, manager of the establishment. So, so what we what we made that was until today. So what I asked the vendor to do change the name or title of that. No, I told him to eliminate it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because in in most cases, in having we're talking about small small right. shops. Single so, owner. so the owner is the manager. The mm -hmm, manager yeah. is the floor sweeper. The manager is yeah. also the person that's slicing the coal cuts. Right. You right. know that Hopefully kind of stuff. while washing their hands in the hand washing side. Yeah, that's Ben's that's Ben's <laughs> um, you know the, the, the large guys, you know, the the, the yeah you know, the McDonald's and the Targets and stuff like that. One the, kind the, of drill. Yeah. They yeah. know the drill. Um, they have a full licensing department somewhere at corporate headquarters right. that for the most part fill out the forms and they again they kind of know the drill. So there's bugs that have to get there. so um so yeah uh, but um I think it's baby steps. Uh, and again this is the first time we've ever done this. We won't do this again until next year. Hopefully we'll do it before Thanksgiving instead right. of you know two weeks before right. January one. Um having said all that um we actually have twelve Food establishments who have already who have closed the loop. That's great. How many? Twelve mm -hmm. um, that have closed the loop. So they fill out the application. They did it correctly. They filled in all the blanks and they've paid us electronically. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, so so yeah. no no paper applications for these twelve. And now bringing no, a check upstairs. No, no paper right. checks. Okay. None of that stuff. So. Um, we still have people that are still sending th in things manually because they're not comfortable yet mm -hmm. with the application. Uh, we're going to have to walk them through it. The 16 or 18 that received paper letters in the mail, um, we've asked them in the letters to provide an email address so we don't have to use the post office to, to do this again. Um, I haven't heard from any of those people yet, but again, those just went out. I think it was Saturday when I brought them to the post office. So, um, so we're getting there. Uh, we're not all the way there, but again, it's kind of a marathon, kind of a sprint, so to speak. So, yep. um, so do you want to prove the twelve? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. yeah, pile yeah. these. Yeah. So these are the ones that uh, went through the system all the way through. Um. And again, um, they also have to attach all their certificates, you mm -hmm. know, 
the serve, save, the choke, and all that stuff. So the first one is Alina's. Uh, next one is Arizona Pizza, uh, Cinemark, Flavors by Cook, yeah. um, Hampton Inn, Pine Valley Chinese Immersion That's School. Cool. They contract out. They yeah. stop at Chinese. Yeah. Uh, stop and shop the uh, gas station, yeah. not the store. Uh, they yeah, have they do done this. it for the store yet. Yeah. Tandem Bagel down down the road, Texas Roadhouse, and then three from Whole Foods, the bakery, catering, and a supermarket. So they all paid um, our new fee schedule, by the way. So what we did is we loaded our new fee schedule into the software so that if the fee is now um, $150 and he says check for $100, they won't process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, do you want to copy that? Or? No, I'm putting that in. Okay. All right. So, um, so if you guys can vote on. Yeah, we'll do both to it. Yeah, I make a motion we approve all, all 12 of them. Second. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so what will happen is that tomorrow when I go back into the office, because I didn't bring the laptop with me, um, is what That's I'll do. Magic is button. I, I literally go into this it's list. It's magical. And these boxes, can you believe it? I will click on these boxes or I click on this, actually this box up here that says choose all. all yeah. And uh -huh. down here, there are selections that I can say, okay, approved. What happens is that as soon as I do that, then emails so go emails out automatically to, love these, it. to these 12 21st century applicants with, with their permits. Yeah, no, it's great. So much smoother than yeah. this. Again, we've got some things to work through, so it's not yeah. as, as smooth it's as great. Yeah. Greater thank you for yeah. all. Yeah, thank you. Really, for been a okay. lot, a lot of work. So, do you want to go process. through the rest of these permits? These are all manual. This pile. Yeah. Okay. So, the first one is uh, for Barstow's uh, Bakery. So, uh, they attempted to actually use the software. Um, they printed out what they could yeah, get a bunch out of the of software, them. but um, they mailed the check. Okay. Okay. So that's that's uh, bar stones. And again, they attach all their taxes. Yep. I think, as we know, the warehouse has got yeah. dirt. That's real. Um, next one is for Chase Hill Farm. Chase Hill Farm is in Warwick. Okay. And they applied Workers, for Farmers Market. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, they're participating in the Farmers Market. Okay. Okay. And again, they sent a pile of paper about yeah. what they're all about, so on and so forth. Good. Uh, hmm. This one, they need to invest more money. Um, this one is not a food establishment. This one is a septic hauler. Awful, awful. Uh, yeah. So it's Wind River Environmental. They're in Marlboro, Massachusetts. And so, again, they sent their pile of Certificates Good. and liability insurance and blah, 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 and they pay us. We've already deposited the check. Great. Um, that we need more money. This one we need more money. This one we need more money. This one we need. So some of them were still going by the old yeah. fee schedule. They paid what they paid last year. That's, I told them, no, you get send us more money. Um, this is a renewal for, uh, again, septic haulage. It's Kinsella Waste in uh, Westfield. Again, they, they've been doing business with us at least uh, for the last year. Again, we sent the application in. They paid us. Um, that one then has put on hold. Um, we have two for My Tierra restaurant up here at 48 Russell. Oh. They do catering as well as the restaurant. Again, yeah. these are renewals. Um, they came in and paid us uh, by check. Um, they didn't, you know, deal with the software, uh, but they're they're in good shape. Home Depot, um, they sent in their application before we launched the software. So, but again, they sent their pile of paper. They gave us the right sure. amount of money and so forth. Um, Rouse Rouse Coffee Roasting on the other side of the street. Um, again, they're a renewal. They bring us every yeah. year. Uh, they sent all their paperwork and they paid us. Uh, the subway at Walmart, um, the vendor, 
again, this is stuff from William Rule, sent us all his paper, or he dropped it off actually with the check uh, that we've already deposited. Um, another hauler, uh, a company called Parker's Portables. Oh, they do porta potties. They're uh, apparently they're they're like very vert vertically and horizontally integrated. But uh, but in any event, uh, they're in your town and uh, so again, they paid up. And this one is also waiting for far for uh, Ben's uh, approval, if you will. So that's what I have uh, for you guys to remove okay. tonight. Uh, if you approve them, I'll be back in the office tomorrow morning. I'll email the approved uh, permit. Can we vote? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I move that we approve. Put this to the vote. Okay. Yes, approved. Good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Zero. Thank, Thank you, you, Peter. Okay. I'm so excited. This is finally happening after all. It, it, these it's happening slowly, many, 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 many and, and again, right. there's there's some bumps in the road. Yeah, again, okay. it's, it's, it's but again, that. we expected it. Yep. We expected it, and uh, you know, it's well. You're rolling. You're itself. rolling with it, Peter. Yeah, it, it'll work itself thing. out. So. Okay. Uh, COVID test kits. We just got more today, and we will get stickers on them. Uh, uh, what was the expiration date? They, these are in June. They like to be extended beyond June, so there's no Perfect. stress. Like these are the ones uh, that are expiring at the end of January. Yeah. So people January should take. Yeah, I brought one, almost one full box back. I was able to get rid of gazillion boxes. Yeah, good. So, so I brought fantastic. some back and I've already, those were before we got the stickers, but I put on the yeah. box, the expiration date is January. All right. So 20. if you want to take more, take more. Emma will take some. I think yeah, Alex please, is going to take some. Um, this is for general distribution. Okay. And Especially. the rest of them, I will have the stickers put on them. I will have them, you know, if you want them, you let me know. And, you know, if we have places to distribute them, yeah. we will. But I'm yeah. not feeling the pressure to get yeah. them out right. Right. so quickly. Right. Uh, the town nurse update. Mm -hmm. Sadly, town nurse agreed to take the position and then backed out. So we do not, we, we're advertising again. We're back to the beginning, which is unfortunate. Uh, Biobot, the uh, COVID wastewater testing, as I sent you guys, the most recent test that we received today was uh, extremely high. Yeah, I have to update the webpage. As I believe it is in Northampton. You were able to upload the PDF file? Yeah, not the PDF because it won't support PDF. So I had to save it as a picture and then. And we are a couple of steps because oh, of the because of the figure out how to we are because yeah. of the software of the didn't get a hold of Alex. We are posting the uh, BioBot COVID nineteen wastewater testing results on the website for anyone who's interested. So see. Emma, are you then you're posting it up as a picture on the yeah. website? Thank like you. Once a week. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, budget update, if any. So the budget, the budget for the Board of Health was submitted last week, uh, excuse me, two weeks ago. It was due on the 16th. Uh, we had it in a week early. Um, no feedback at this point. Um, the treasurer and, and uh, the town manager, town administrator are still reviewing what they have received. Um, I think the next phase will start after we come back from uh, I guess New Year's Day. So whenever that is January 3rd, I guess is when we come back. Um, but no feedback yet. But again, okay. everything that we uh that you guys had asked for is baked into the baked and, into the and I don't budget. think there's any surprises. So no. So sure. I mean and again the, the the big you know, the big bump, if you will, was you know, more hours for Ben and myself. And then uh, we put in some money for community uh health and okay. Meetings. That, that was it. That was it. Um, you know, we still have money in the in the current fiscal year's budget um, for a uh, tablet uh, for Ben. Actually, I think Carolyn actually has the money. I, I, so. Is there not still an iPad in the flat in the horizontal filing cabinet? There might be an iPad there that we got previously. I don't think so. 
I don't know. So, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen it. It's been a while since I looked, but I never saw them work at a barn. I suppose. There was, there was a there was a laptop in there. It's no, so we'll look into it more. Because in a previous year, that's when we got the laptops during a tech upgrade. Because I put in a capital request for those and an iPad, knowing that we were planning on going digital with Permanent Link or some other software. Like that was like our end goal. So I'm right. trying to have a tablet already established. Right. Under our Yeah, there's I mean I you welcome to look obviously, yeah. but but I've never seen it. Okay. And and we actually swapped out one of the cabinets six months ago. Right, right but we emptied that one. We yeah, yeah, that actually was emptied. Yeah. Okay. Well, my all right. Deflated now. Uh Emma, do you wanna update us? I on the uh Plastic sure. bag in. I did read the two documents that yeah, you Yeah, thank you for sent. sending them out. My only comment on them is um, that if the Board of Health denies a deferral, mm -hmm. there's no appeals process. So the so the you mean for the overview, just for the general because the hardship deferments related to the ordinance of this is kind of just a general overview of like what right, is the no, procedure. The other, the other document. Oh, there it. There's at the bottom. It'll, it'll at the if we're talking about the application for the deferment, which I really just modeled after Pittsfield's. That's really the language for both of these. Um, I would just, our boilerplate for that. So I just we could. So I, I'm just, I, I don't, I, I don't, I mean, I'm open to, let me pull up my, our, um, I'm just looking for that. shared, our that Google, Google Drive, Drive with some When did you send resources oh, just, in just before 44. There we go. Okay. Um, so you're so not the talking about the request for mine, deferment? Mine was a deferment process. It says, um, uh, decision making at the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, deferment decisions are effective immediately and final. Yeah, I mean, that's how the bylaw reads, too. Okay. So if I pull up the bylaw, because I'm trying to have... I mean, okay. <laughs> it just seemed, it's, it sounded a little... Yeah, I agree. Harsh. I'm just trying to have our language be in alignment. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of our hardship deferment bullet five on the bylaw the final one is deferment decisions are effective immediately and final okay um but so, only last for the year you know right. so we're having this meeting on january 9th what is the what is that that hearing what's the function of that hearing yeah so the function of the public hearing that we're going to have on january 9th is to open up the up uh, the hardship deferment process so when businesses and establishments could submit an application for us to review um, so but why do we have what's the hearing about that it the way the bylaw reads is that after a public hearing we're able to review the deferment applications so so at the at the at the public hearing we review the process Right. So the idea with this hearing is to explain the deferment process, the scope of the Board of Health, and that our scope is only the deferment process right. and not any enforcement. Um, also to give um, a, a place at the table, the Climate Change Committee, to explain some background, some brief background with the bylaw and be present to hear the testimony, right? The legislative testimony of those who would come to the hearing with so concerns. Would, and then there's a member to, of the select board is going to be there as to well. the hearing and what would their agenda be? I'm confused. So it, it could be to ask to air grievances and concerns about the implementation of the deferment process or maybe our consideration of it. Currently, the things that I kind of instantly think about 
is is the challenge that we're under, right? That is the is what? The challenge that we're under, that the right. bylaw was voted on way back in May, and that it could, and this is just my own opinion, feel very untimely right? and maybe unfair to a business, to all of us who maybe doesn't go to town meetings and right. isn't on the alerts and doesn't live in town and almost feel like their feet were kind of taken out under them. Not because they don't want to plan, not because they don't right. want to be good environmental stewards, but also, and but that they, it, it doesn't feel good. So um, that might be part of the hearing is listening to them. Um, certainly we would put parameters on the hearing in terms of expectations, in terms of content, limit of the amount of time of discussion per participant, um, right, but also, as board members. But aren't they speaking to the wrong they're speaking to the wrong people because we did not vote the plastic bag yeah, ban in. All we're responsible yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, but you guys will be the appeal board. Right. What's that? You're the appeal board. Right. You're the appellate court. They're going right. to be appealing to you guys. Right. So, so I, I agree with Emma. The, the, the folks, some of the folks that are going to come in are people that are already thinking, "Hey, I bought all this stuff way ahead of time right. at right. Costco because I got a good buy. Right. And now I got to toss it out." No, they they apply for a right. so for it's a right. so it's to explain that. that, but but that's why they're going to yeah. come. Okay, yeah. that's why they're here. But they don't have to come; they can just fill out the deferment form. Yeah, yeah, I think also too part of it is that it's a new process, so right. individuals okay. might be feeling anxious right. about okay. it. Okay. You know, where do I go from here? Okay, yeah. that kind of stuff. You know, okay. so kind of like a quick how to. Okay, and then I was hoping that. If we could, after making some motions with revisions for the deferment application at this meeting, um, we could possibly even have it ready on site for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them to I think it's a real. I think it looked fine. I don't. Think I'm sure. You're talking about the application itself. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you did a fabulous job with the yeah. just yeah. very basic. No, yeah. right. It's yeah. our first pass. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. everybody's first pass. We're all doing our best. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I thought it was fine. So unless we can print that up and have it here for yeah. people. And then I was hoping that we could also have it on our website. Yeah, um, of course. And then certainly after the public hearing, we would close the hearing and then um, at our next meeting. And we they, start. They, we have until, they have until January 20th to apply for the deferment. Is that what it said? Yeah. So I. And then. We have a meeting after that and go through all of them. You got we it. do that at our regular board of health meeting. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. So essentially, um, so it's, is the process for us tonight vote on this application. If we say, yes, we're happy with the application, we put it up on the website mm -hmm. now, whatever. Yep. And, um, and then we go ahead with the January 9th meeting. Yes, right. just a discuss. You know, uh, this is the process. Yep. And then after that, people will submit their submit their deferments. Yeah. Now, is there a time frame on this? Yeah, uh, January twentieth. Like, that's okay. That's what I suggested. Reading the Pittsfield one and the idea with that. I mean, we could change it to a different date. I was just putting that out you there. You want to give them a little bit longer, like make it February. That give, yeah, that that gives them. You know, after the hearing, eleven days. But if you're planning on putting it on the website, let's say tomorrow, that gives them almost a month. Yeah. So I mean, whatever. Except to Emma's point, if people There's, are not checking the website and they're coming to the meeting on the ninth for right. information. Yeah. See, see, I, if it was me, and again, I don't vote. I mean, is there I, any? I, I'd give them to the end of the month. It, yeah, that's what, what I would say. Just give me the end of January. Yeah, I don't. I mean, there's no. Yeah. So, if our, do you want to make a motion to change the submission date to January the third first? Yeah, I'd make a motion that we yeah. change that to January. Okay, January I'll make that adjustment so. now with that update. And then they come on the ninth, and that still gives them three weeks in which yeah. to submit Whatever. their application. Still right. to stress people, over right? There. No, no. And the whole idea too, with kind of that end date, is that way it would we wouldn't have constant applications coming in it's really a one time per year right. similar to permitting and licensing right, right? um 
good idea for that in terms of our workflow too, just knowing how yeah, time so, consuming. So how are they be. how are they getting these forms to us? Are they emailing to health? at hadleyma.org, are they emailing you, are they emailing Susan? So this is where I think this is also what I put in the application um, and the the kind of overview, but I initially put the health at Hadley, but I don't know would how would the board, since we do ha now have town emails, Kind of be the, being and the, they'd send them to you. It's is better that, to have them go to one person. I agree because otherwise it's so I'm screening that email and I they know. might get lost. I just didn't want to make assume things. No, assume. You know I mean? okay. assume. Okay. So I'll make that adjustment on the application for it to be so, dragged. Emma, will you be putting this uh, this form on on the web? Okay, so I don't know if you want to. Okay. That was the goal. And the the hearing, uh, are you facilitating the hearing? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the climate committee also. Yeah. So have we invited or have you invited whoever, I don't know who these people are, the, yeah. the chairperson? Of the yeah. Committee? Okay. I've been in communication with Jack, um, who's the chairperson for the, sorry, who? Jack, mm -hmm. um, oh, who I know has um, communicated with his other people Good. um and I'm gonna, they, I'm gonna tell jane it would be nice to have somebody from the school i already or, did to jane okay. and jane is attending exactly. as well okay and okay. then hadley media is also graciously going to be present okay so Good. that way we can record it and also have maybe virtual participants okay. as well that's right that's what to say is can be you, you still want a um a hybrid correct yeah. is it going to be done here are you using powerpoint slides or paper I have not developed a PowerPoint, but I okay. could. Okay. I've done that in a pinch. Yeah, the, the town is now getting into yeah. the PowerPoint. I love it. The, the last town meeting, we used a lot of uh, PowerPoint. Yep. I, I make my own homework. It's really fun. Wow. All right. Well, I think that's, thank you, Emma. Yes. Thank, thank you, everybody. You. Everybody, so really, really, Peter, uh, Emma, yes. everybody, thank you. Everybody's working, but mm. thank you. No, that's not true. Well, uh, so I, I, I have a couple things on my list. Oh, right. Uh, Sorry. I'll, I'll wait until um, you're done. No, but it, I think we're done. You know, it's it's important work, but it's good work we're doing. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, everybody. All right. Go ahead, Peter. I just had a couple of uh, things. Yeah. My, so, number one, the uh, I did send. I did send to Carolyn um, for the select board um, an analysis of our new fee schedule for 2023. So I think I sent it to the three, but essentially what I did is I had um, I had what West Springfield was charging, what Northampton was mm -hmm. charging historically, and then what we charged in 2022. Right. Okay. So, 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 so I took all that information and yeah. put it on one. Good, one, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that so, we weren't on different right, pages. Right, so went on one, ske one schedule. And so I had West Springfield, Northampton, Hadley in 2022, then yeah. Hadley 2023. Oh, thank you. Thank you for combining. And so um, so the, the next step is Carol's going to um, present that to the board because they want to hear from every department, every board, so on and so yeah. forth. So I, I think we might be first. Mm. They might have done it last night. I, I haven't seen the... I haven't seen the uh, YouTube yet, but I don't think they did anything last night. Okay, yeah, but I, but they, just, they just mentioned it. It was a really short meeting. Uh, so, so that's done. So, so we got that done. Um, so the next meeting is January fifth. Are we thinking the next meeting will be two weeks after that, which will be the nineteenth? That's what I was thinking. All right. Well, so we we have January 9th, and then you're saying well, the next, 9th is technically yeah. a hearing. Yeah, the next oh, meeting. Oh, I see. January next, 8th, I have for the board of health. Uh, oh no, I'm in December. Yeah, Hold on. yeah, I think it's the 9th for the hearing. The 9th is the, the hearing. Tuesday, right. uh, the ninth. Ninth yeah. is Tuesday, uh, Monday. Yeah, but right. when is our next board our of next health meeting, meeting? Is the fifth. Yes, that's what the I fifth. Have. Yeah. So, are we doing two weeks after that? The nineteenth. The nineteenth. Hold on a second. Yes, we can do the nineteenth. We're going to need to starting on the nineteenth. We need to have a hybrid. Starting the nineteenth hybrid. Because I will be out of town. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll make a note of that. And then, are we on for 
the second of February. Of the, yeah. So that would be the meeting where you guys are considering any new deferrals. Yep. Right. And then we have the 16th. Okay. Okay. You know, I mean, at some time point, we can go to every three weeks or every month right. as well. But yeah. Let's, yeah. let's just do this till we, yeah. we have all the permitting coming in. Yeah. yeah and, and then I'll be on vacation. And we have this. But after that, and we have in the past successfully met every three or four weeks yeah. a few times. Yeah. So I, I, we I, did. I see no reason not to. But so the, the, just so. Yeah, everybody the, understands. The, the permitting I, should be done in January. Right. I don't feel like we, you know, we have to meet every three <laughs> weeks. So, right. right. Okay. So we have our right. meeting so, set. So great. What else you got there, Peter? That's it. That's a good one. Right. Meeting. Once again, Peter, thank you. Thank you for You're everything. Yeah. My pleasure. Um, thank you. Emma, everybody's put a, yeah, a thank lot you. of hard work. Thank you. That feels um, good. As that. always, thank you. Yeah. And uh, happy holidays, everybody. Yeah, same to you. Yes, and safe, uh, safe COVID-free holidays. Yeah. I'm hearing.